Braves hosting the Mets, and the Mets are plus 105 on the money line. The Braves are minus 125. The over-under, 9.5 runs. So the Mets, getting a run and a half on the run line, are minus 180, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by... Uh, they win by outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. The Braves laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 150, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two. I'm so used to seeing Scherzer and just presuming he's the favorite, which he's actually the underdog in this game. Now, Scherzer pitched four times against the Braves last year. The Mets were 3-1 and one in the games in which he pitched against the Braves. Seven innings, one run, one earn. They won that game 9-1. to one. In Atlanta, he struck out nine. Seven shutout innings. They won that game 6-2 to two in New York. He struck out 11. Six and a third, four runs, four earned. They won that game 9-7. to seven. That was in Atlanta, and he struck out eight. Five and two-thirds, four runs, four earned. They lost that game 4-2 to two in Atlanta, and he only struck out four. That was his worst outing of the year against the Braves. Morton has pitched once against the Mets this year. Five and a third, four runs, four earned. They lost that game 5-3. to three. That was in New York. He struck out six in that game. The Mets are 7-2 and two in Scherzer's last nine starts. They've won his last four starts. He's averaging five innings pitched and 5.3 strikeouts per game in those games. The Braves are 4-6 and six as a team with Morton on the mound. They've lost his last three starts. He's averaging five and two-thirds innings pitched and 7.1 strikeouts per game in those games. Both of these guys are probably guys that you're going to have to look out for on the K-line. Scherzer's line might be very, very low, and if you heard how he did against the Braves last year, I understand last year was last year, but you know you may get some good value there. Now, head-to-head, -head, the home team is 7-3. and three. The home team's on a two-game winning streak. The Braves are 8-2 and two against the Mets in their last 10. The favorite is 6-4 and four on the money line. The favorite or the underdog getting or laying runs is 5-5. Five and five. They've only been two one-run games in their last 10. And the under is hitting their last two. The under is six and four. And the under nine and a half runs is seven and three. And for those who are concerned about the wind, it's blowing out towards left center field, kind of in between second and short at 11.4 miles per hour. So we finally got a stadium where it's kind of catering to the righties, just depending upon if it hits in the right direction. The last game they played against each other, which was yesterday, the Braves came back and won 6-4. The game before that, the Mets won 5-3. The game before that, the Braves won 9-8. The game before that, the Braves won 4-0. The Braves are 3-1 against the Mets this year. Now in their last handful of games overall, the Mets have dropped their last four, and they're 4-6 four and six in their last 10. Three runs, three runs, 10 runs, 10 runs. Shut out and a loss, one run and a loss, and then back-to-back -back games where they scored four runs and lost. That's for the Mets. For the Braves, they've won their last three games. They're three and one in their last four, five and five in their last ten. Five runs, seven runs, thirteen runs, and ten runs. Two runs and a loss, five runs and a win, eight runs and a win, six runs and a win. I know this is gonna kind of sound foolish, but Scherzer pitched well against the Braves, and it's very rare that you get him as an underdog. Now, let me preface this by saying all of the numbers say take the Braves, but I'm gonna take the Mets. Mets with the money line, Mets getting the runs, and I'm going to go over because a couple of the games he pitched against the Braves went over, and who knows what's going to happen when the bullpen comes into this game. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.